What you up to, mister? Putting my stuff in Mickey's bag. Why? What do you plan on doing tomorrow? Snowmobiling. First Day time? 50. What? No way. Oh, yeah. That's going to be sick, dude. You getting nervous yet, or are you just still too excited? Oh, I'm still too excited. Morning, dude. Morning. I thought I was going to have to come in here and wake you up. You ready to go? What are you watching? <laughs> Let's go do some actual cool stuff. Look at that, dude. Dollar eighty-three. <laughs> Fill her up, Bess. What's the hole for? Let's go get a custom sandwich made. Did you order a sandwich, Grandpa? Uh, yeah. Water, coffee. So they got like breakfast wraps or breakfast sandwiches, dude. Just grab one. Whatever one. There's sausage, bacon. Hey, Ezzy. Remember what I was saying about like the candy cups? You throw them in your backpack or whatever and they break. So it's a good thing yeah. you grab the bagged one. Yeah. Holy pipes on that guy. How are you feeling, dude? Good. Excited or what? Yeah. Nervous or just excited? Just excited. What's going on with your glove program, dude? Okay, so these go up and these are for free riding. All right, let's go put them in your sled. This is a really sweet spot right here to keep them warm, as. Put them in there and behind the dash. There you go. Here, Ezzy. Here's your beacon. Yeah. You're gonna put that somewhere in your pocket and zip it up, okay? Maybe in that pocket right there would be a good one. Yeah, because this one has a zip. So that's your beacon, and then the other two safety items in your backpack are a shovel and a probe. In case an avalanche happens, then that's how people will be able to find you. So zip that back up. Beauty, dude. Yeah. What color do you want, dude? Nice. Look at, see me? See me on there? Yeah. Cool. Let's go shred, dude. Knox. Okay. Ready to go, Ez? Yeah. All right, buddy, we're gonna go up here, and we're gonna go and uh, we're gonna put our scratchers down once we get to the trail, all right? Okay. You got your hand warmers on? Yeah. You know where your throttle is? You know where your brake is? One finger on the brake at all times, okay? Just like this. One finger. I just say it's pretty cool that I got my son out here. It's BC Family Day. I got my dad too, so there's three generations of us and uh, this one should be fun. Ezra's very keen to get after it, so uh, quite interested, maybe a little bit nervous at the same time. Good job, Ezzy. Thanks. You made it to the cabin, dude. That was so fun, huh? Yeah. Should we go free riding now? Hey, Ez. Yeah? You can do a bunch of free riding. You can do a bunch of free riding in here. Just don't hit the trees, okay? Go have fun. Yeah. You're just going to
gonna stay right on the main trail and then when the trail gets wider, you can give it lots of gas until you get to the top, okay? You got it, bud. I told you you could do it, dude. Yeah. Was that crazy or what? That was pretty crazy. I'm so proud of you. Thanks. Nice work, man. Grandpa giving Ezzy some instructions and cheddar down there. Come on up, Ezzy. You can do it, bud. That's really sick. I'm like legit running the dad cam today and uh, man, as he's the first time out here in the mountains, he is killing it. Having so much fun and just like working on his uh, speed at inclines and uh, that's like a legit hill. I've seen people turn out on much less. Look at that guy, no helmet, man. <laughs> There's a few there, eh? Oh yeah. What'd you find here, Ez? A little drop right over there. All right, let's see. Sick, dude. I'll go get another angle. <laughs> He's taking off because he said he wants to go get some buddies to come session with him. Who is this kid, man? <laughs> he was just calling you out, Chad. He's like, you guys gotta come. Yeah, I already seen it. I want everybody up here. Gonna hit that or what? Did you get the shot, Grandpa? <laughs> you having flashbacks, Dad? Yep. It's like me when I used to beg you to take me to the sugar bowl, hit the same jump over and over and over again until I was out of yeah. gas. Until you're out of gas, and then you burn my gas and everyone else's gas. You know what Ezzy told me in the park a lot? He's like, it's like I'm in one of your clinics, Dad. <laughs> you just keep telling me what to do. <laughs> Got Uncle Cheddar up there coaching him into a drop. <laughs> Doesn't even argue. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Yeah. 
You know what the best part is? You can go do it again right beside where you went that time. I'll get the shot. I don't know whose freaking kid that is, but holy crap is that cool! What do you think of this, dude? Pretty sweet. It's fun in here, huh? Mm -hmm. Sledding's like your new favorite winter sport, or what? Yeah. Yeah, that because you get candies for lunch. No. Yeah. Not yeah. that. Don't tell Hudson; she'll be mad. Ready, as? Yeah. Drop down that trail. We'll follow Grandpa, okay? beacon search okay? okay so take your beacon out okay now you're gonna take your beacon right and we're gonna push down on that big part of the green and slide it over to search okay okay now we're in search mode now we follow the arrows and the numbers to find the beacon that has been lost okay yeah. And that lost beacon is like someone that's buried in the snow. Yeah. All right? So hop off your sled. Grandpa, you put yours to search. When you're searching, you can use some communication and talk to each other and say, Hey, Grandpa, it says that it's going straight. Or Grandpa, it says we're eight meters away. Yeah, count your numbers down. Count your numbers down so that the people in your group know how close you're getting. Ezra, I finally picked up a signal. You've been tracking for a while. I finally got my first signal. When you're searching, you can use some communication and talk to each other and say, Hey, Grandpa, it says that it's going straight. Or, Grandpa, it says we're eight meters away. Which way is your arrow pointing, Grandpa? I got a stronger signal here. Okay. Follow your strong signal. So now Grandpa has the stronger signal he's going to lead, okay? Right. Now you and Grandpa can talk back and forth and tell each other what you're hearing and seeing. What's your beacon saying now, Ez? Always Six, watch your beacon, buddy. Five. Four. Oh, you're getting closer. Oh, hear how it's getting closer, closer, all the way down to the snow, all the way down to the snow. Right here. Got nice, it. dude. Good job. How do you feel about your first beacon search, dude? We'll keep practicing that every time we go out, okay? Go find another free ride zone. 
Did a fun little beacon search there with Desi and my dad, and now we're gonna go play in some snow again. See if we can't find a little bit deeper snow, eh, dude? <laughs> Nice work, dude. Back at the cabin. Yep. It's all downhill from here, dude. Literally. How was your first day mountain riding, Ness? Pretty fun. Are you tired now? Yeah. Think maybe I'll have a truck nap on the way home? Oh, yeah. Gosh. Look at, you see that blue and purple snowmobile way over there on the snowmobile deck? Yeah. Do you know that when I was your age, that was the kind of snowmobile that I rode. That's a Polaris Indy Light. And it only has like a 340cc motor in it. And you got to ride an 850 today. How was that? A lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's get some snacks and hit the road home, man. Mm -hmm. All right, give me next, man. I'm very proud of you today. Thanks. You did great. Crashed two times. And got stuck one time. That's it? Hit some jumps. Climbed a lot of hills too. Sick, dude. That was a pretty cool day, Dad. It was. We had three three generations up there. Yep. How does he do for his first day? He did awesome. You bet. That really surprises me. <laughs> <laughs>